Hello, how you guys are doing? Welcome back to another amazing and informative video. I am Mangika in association with Metacod will share simple yet handy tricks on how to ace an interview part one. Before starting the video, let me quickly introduce myself. I am Angika Roy. I did my engineering in computer science and masters in marketing. I have more than five years of industry experience as a system engineer and a business analyst. I am a Google Data Analytics Professional Certified Data Analyst. I am constantly working on various projects to keep up with my curiosity. Without wasting any more time, let's begin with it. Let's quickly go through the topics we will discuss in this video. First, we have to understand the role, research the company, review the job description. Eventually, the most important step would be to practice the commonly asked questions, both technical and behavioral. The next steps to follow would be to build a portfolio, to stand out among the entire crowd. Now, interview is a two-way street, so realizing the company is a good fit for you is also important. So ask questions. And the final step is to be in the realistic situation. And the best way to do is by mock interview sessions. Now let's talk about understanding the role of the key responsibilities. Analyze the duties of the role to pinpoint the primary tasks and responsibilities associated with the role. Basically, understand the day-to-day -day functions you will be performing, okay? And be aware of the specific outcomes or results the employer expects you to achieve in this role. Then comes tools and technologies. Now, familiarize yourself with the software and applications commonly used in the role you are applying for, okay? Now, for example, if you are aiming for a data analyst position, I will always take this example <laughs> because I am the one. You need to be well equipped with the Excel, SQL, Tableau, Python, Power BI, and statistical analysis. Now consider obtaining relevant certifications or training to enhance your proficiency with the necessary tools and technologies. Now, for freshers, if possible, get the hands-on experience with these tools to demonstrate your competency during the interview. And for experience, to enhance the skills that you have and, uh, and uh, articulate the challenges you solved matching with the role requirements, okay? The third is the importance of the impact. Now, it's important to understand how the role contributes to the team's objectives and the overall success of the company. You need to be aware of the fact that how much impact your work will have and the growth of the company. Also be prepared to explain how your work will add value to the company's projects and goals. Now let's talk about research the company part. Okay, the mission and vision, understanding the company's mission statement and core values uh, are very important. This often provides insight about the company's culture and priorities. Also familiarize yourself with the company's vision and long-term objectives. This shows that you are interested in not just the role, but the entire company's future as well. By doing so, you can think about how your personal and professional goals align with the company's mission and vision. Next to the products and services. Know the key products and services the company offers. This includes understanding the features, benefits, and target markets. Be aware of what differentiates the company's products and services from competitors. This might include unique selling points, USPs, market position, or innovation. Now, learn about new products, services, or initiatives the company has launched recently. This shows that you are always up to date and engaged with the company's progress. This shows that you are really, really interested in this company and the role. The last is the latest news and developments. Subscribe to their uh, social media handles to stay informed about the company's recent achievements. Okay, 
and read the latest press releases or news articles about the company to know about the latest developments such as mergers acquisition or partnership you can easily get this in the company's website itself in the press release section be aware of any challenges the company is facing and potential opportunities for the growth this can help you position yourself as someone who is ready to contribute to overcome the challenges and seizing the opportunities now let's talk about review the job description to begin with identify key skills and qualifications carefully read the job description to understand the essential skills and qualifications required for the role now this includes both technical and soft skills note the level of experience needed such as years of experience in a similar role or specific industry expertise pay attention to the educational qualifications and any certifications that are required or preferred for the position then it comes to showcasing your relevant skills for examples now prepare specific examples from your past experiences that demonstrate the key skills listed in the job description use quantitative results and impact okay like percentages include those how much your work impacted the entire scenario a highlight projects or responsibilities you have handled that align with the job's requirement explain your role and contributions clearly then align your qualifications ensure your resume reflects the key skills and qualifications mentioned in the job description tailor your resume to highlight the most relevant experiences be prepared to discuss how your background aligns with the job qualifications it is basically matching your skill set with the job requirement nothing more than that now let's talk about practice common questions let's first begin with technical okay highlight skills and knowledge relevant to the job position be ready to talk about the tools and technologies you are proficient in and how they are relevant to the role apart from this things is practice coding problem solving guesstimates and case studies by doing this four you can actually prepare for technical questions realistic questions that the interviewers really ask and regularly practice coding problems using platforms like lit code hacker rank or and there are multiple actually now problem solving you need to develop a structured approach to solving technical problems and be prepared to explain your thoughts process and the uh, guesstimates are basically practice making educated guesses for estimation questions often used in consulting and data analysis roles basically and the last one is the case studies walk through case studies related to your field to enhance your analytical and strategic thinking skills okay now let's talk about behavioral questions okay articulate your past work experiences be ready to discuss your past projects in detail including your role the technologies used and the outcomes quantify the impact of your work such as efficiency improvements cost savings or performance gains okay and after all these things practice the most common question irrespective of the company the role or anything related tell me something about yourself you need to practice soft skills develop clear and concise ways to communicate your thoughts and experiences and prepare examples for this teamwork adaptability conflict resolution the situations where you did all these things to adapt okay now the star method which it is basically stands for situation task action result okay situation is now let's say you are describing a certain scenario where you solve something First explain the situation describe the context within which you perform the task or face the challenge at work then the task explain the actual task or challenge that was involved then explain the action 
detail the specific actions you took to address the task or challenge. Result is share the outcomes or results of your actions highlighting what you achieved and what you learned. Now, this will effectively help you to prepare for both technical and behavioral. Now, let's talk about building a portfolio. This is basically your marketing strategy. You are selling yourself. Your portfolio is a tangible proof of your practical skills and hands-on experience. It goes beyond what's written on your resume. Highlight how you have applied your skills in real-world scenarios, showcasing your ability to execute and deliver on projects. Include a variety of projects to demonstrate a broad skill set and versatility in different areas relevant to the job you are applying for. Detail the impact of your solutions. Include any measurable outcomes. Showcase any innovative approaches or unique solutions you uh, adopted to tackle the complex issues. List down the specific tools and technologies you employed like Python, SQL, Power BI, Tableau, R, etc. and demonstrate your proficiency with these tools through the work. Also, in, also incorporate visualizations, reports and other artifacts from your projects to, to provide concrete example of your work. And finally, publish your work. Publish it online in GitHub, Tableau Public, LinkedIn, personal website. Okay, all these things are free. You can do it. Prepare questions to ask. Well, there are multiple questions one can ask at the end of any interview, but there are three unique questions you can ask. The first is, what's the first thing you need me to concentrate on in the role if you hire me? This question helps you understand the immediate priorities and expectations for the role and gain insight into what your first few weeks or months will look like, allowing you to prepare accordingly. Second question is, what would my success in the role look like in 12 months from now? Now understand the key performance indicators, the KPIs and metrics that will be used to evaluate your success. Get a sense of the long-term goals and objectives for the role and how your performance will be measured against them. This question shows your interest in achieving success and helps you understand the expectations for your personal and professional growth with the company. And the third question is, can you tell me more about the team I would be a part of in the role? Now, understand how collaborative and communicative they are, which can help you adapt quickly, right? So gain insight in the team's culture, work style, and any ongoing projects or initiatives that will be involved in. Now let's talk about the crucial part of any preparation, that is mock sessions. How to do it correctly? One needs to set realistic conditions. Simulate the entire interview environment. Conduct mock interviews in a setting that closely resembles the actual interview environment, including appropriate attire and a quiet professional space. Adhere to the typical time constraints of a real interview to practice managing your responses efficiently. The first interview usually takes one hour, almost, if it's technical. Uh, even though the entire video is based on how to prepare for an interview, still I will just point out a few key points here. They are knowing the role, review the job description, required skills and company background thoroughly before the mock interview. Rehearse answers to frequently asked technical and behavioral questions relevant to the position. Have all necessary documents and materials ready such as your resume, portfolio and other notes. Okay. The next is role playing. Find any partner who can role play as the interviewer, preferably someone with experience in your field or HR and uh, engage in a realistic dialogue, including follow up questions and 
clarifications to mimic an actual interview. Okay, uh, it is actually fun, you see. <laughs> and uh, practice a variety of scenarios, including challenging questions and problem-solving tasks. Before this, uh, ask for detailed feedback. Rick, encourage them to provide specific examples of what you did well and where you can improve. Pay attention to the feedback on your non-verbal communications, just body language, eye contact, and tone of voice. These plays are really very important role in the entire interview session okay so practice for it it seems very much negligible but these are the first things that any person notices in you when you enter the room right then comes review and reflect repeat and refine these are like the continuous process it goes on and on and on it's like practice makes a man perfect okay look for patterns in the feedback to identify recurring strengths and weaknesses Schedule multiple mock interview sessions to build confidence and improve your performance progressively. Okay. Now, apart from this, there are various situations where you does not find any uh, partner to uh, do the sessions with. Okay, so for this, we have various uh, virtual platforms. Uh, two of this free online platforms are Interview Warm Up and Ramp. Try this out and if you have any questions, give a comment below. We'll try to answer it. Thank you for watching the video and congratulations to you all people. Give a slight pat on your back. You made it till the end of the video. But stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel because this is just part one and part two is coming soon. Bye.